JD, 4-0 win here at Grantham Town this afternoon. Give me your thoughts on that. Just really, really pleased with how we're playing. Really pleased how we uh, got through the game today. It's tough. It was really tough here today because of the well, the conditions really tough for, for both teams, but it's very difficult to play football on. What they've done to the pitch, you can probably see behind, they've just took it in about four or five yards each side. It's really, really narrow. Um, it's not the longest pitch anyway. Um, been really windy today and it's quite bobbly out there so conditions were quite tricky I know that's the same for both teams but then to come and score four goals in that um, just makes you really proud of what we're doing right now yeah and just that first half it was it was quite frustrating at first and we got the penalty got us in the lead but uh, yeah but what did you make on that first I, half I described it exactly the same I said um, we're frustrated frustrated but we're winning um, there was there was not a lot in it sometimes without being disrespectful too much teams sometimes just get in the way and I think Grantham did a lot of that today just getting in the way I don't think they caused that much prob much of a problem they found it hard as well to keep the ball on the pitch at times um, but sometimes you just gotta you just gotta keep going with what you're doing and eventually we said if we score one today in the 90th minute it doesn't matter as long as we can get a win out of this and then obviously getting a penalty and, and going in one nil up helped us but then come out the second half and, and just kept on doing the same things and eventually just wore them down to the point where we, we've scored some really good goals out there and ended up scoring four. Yeah, as I say, a 4 nil win today, but I don't think like we've got out of second gear and, and you know, we've just capitalised on the moments there because we're so clinical when it counts. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, that, that goal, Glenn's header there, <clears throat> you've got Kev with a little back heel, you've got Tomo drifting past a couple of players and, and delivering a perfect cross. Glenn getting himself in the right place and just and just heading one into the top corner at the back post perfectly. It's just a, just a pleasure to watch, uh, and and that again done in really difficult conditions. Um, I think it's just because our confidence is so high. We the lads are loving the the fact they're playing together. They're playing well together. They're all playing for each other, um, and we, we're looking like we want to play anyone. It doesn't matter who it is, um, whether it's bottom of the league, top of the league, whatever it is. With the momentum is really good at the moment, and we just want to keep that going really. Yeah, and uh, two huge games coming up this week. First quarter final of the Drum Challenge Cup against Wickham in the week, and then next Saturday is the big one against uh, second place Heaven. So, how you yeah. feel about them as two the games? As season goes on, the games get bigger, don't they? If you're doing well, I mean, I suppose if you're at the bottom end as well, it's the same. But obviously, if you're doing well, the big games keep coming. So, the the quarter final huge for us. We, if we can win that, and, and then you want away from the final, it'd be exactly what we're looking for. And then obviously, Heaven winning again today means it's uh, top two at the top, and we know how difficult they are to play against and, and they're playing really well as well so yeah we've got a massive week ahead of us um, it's good to see that the lads have got through that relatively injury free as far as we can see so we'll have a very light recovery session Monday to set us up for the, for the Wednesday game and again recover hopefully into the Saturday